Welcome to the Southern 500, our final race of the regular season. So this is the cutoff race, and it's our 33rd race of the season. So a lot of big changes after the Brickyard, and then for that, right, here's the full qualifying results. Three cars didn't even qualify: Trey Wright, Trevor Collins, and Matt Haas. Didn't even post a lap. Maybe they want to stay at the back. Usually that works better at super speedways, not at trucks like Darwin. But who knows? It might work out for them. All right, here's the race command. Drivers, start your engines. And the engines are fired up. Here we go. The six of Chris Kyle on pole. The 43 Dan Martin. I think or something like that. Or Dan. 43 team has definitely turned this season around. They won two uh, races early in the season, and then they just fell so far back. I thought, you know, there's like no chance. Well, there was a chance, but nearly no chance. But right now they are sitting in 20th. They gained three spots after Indianapolis. Right now they start second in tonight's race, and some well, turn one the inside is a little bit better. So. But he starts up front. Luke Sasser in the 37. He's come close to wins, but past several races he hasn't. Or more, like maybe more than several. He lost seven spots after it in the end. And Michael Collins in the two is pulling out. He's uh, one of the drivers trying to. One of the long shot drivers. If I did my math right, drivers from. The, talk about the, um, the one that aren't top 60. So 17th through 31st still have a chance. Anyone who's under uh, is below that. Is below 31st is uh, is done. So Pipe raised Vito, so he has to win a stage. If I'm correct, I'm mostly not. But if I am correct, stage win and the race win and 16th place has to finish last or second last. I think I'm, I'm most likely wrong. But if I'm not, that's how the 88, like Pipe raised Vito, has to get in. All right, here we go. Green flag is out. We're underway here at Darlington. Chris Carl also fighting for a playoff spot. He just got the win at Coda, boosting him up 10, spo uh, 10 spots. And another win should give him another big boost in, into the playoffs. Here comes Luke Sasser. Could he win and get in like that? Pull off a uh, Jeremy Mayfield and so many cars earning their stripes already. But the first lap under green, but they wreck right away, just when the leader crosses the start finish line. Yeah, that's to be expected here at Darlington. It's a one groove racetrack we've had it time and time again. Not everyone's favorite, it's so hard and even worse that it's the cutoff race. So And there goes Mitchell Collins on the twenty two. Yeah, he's thirty second in points and Yeah, he's a uh, it's safe to say that he's just going for the wins now. Now, now I can say that. All right, uh, lights, uh, our pace car is on. Caution flags out. We'll take a look at the replay. So that was just an absolute mess. Hilary Sanchez on the 47 ends up getting turned around off of four. Bounces off the 11 of Ryan Butcher. Uh, the probably off the, off the nose of the 32. Spins right in front of the pack. And a 20, and a 17, and then Josh is a silly. Goes upside down. My god, that car was just bouncing all over the place. This is a big caution for the two car. They definitely needed this. They almost got put a lap down here. And a 27. Ah, it's gonna hurt. As they're only just one spot. There are six points outside, out of, uh, playoffs. It was probably behind Mount Haas. 17th entering the race. And not even one, well, he completed one lap upside down. What a heartbreak. I think we're just flying. Trey Wright's also cars destroyed. Jake Jefferson's in it. He's guaranteed to finish second. So it uh, looks like Jake Jefferson will not win the regular season champ unless he stays out there. That's a lot of damage. He launched that 27 in the air. There's several cars involved. So we now know Josh Cecily and Trey Wright. Their hopes at the playoffs is uh, gone. So there's a 48. Yeah, look at that. Trey Wright almost went upside down himself. Joshua Rush and the 15 we see involved as well, but not too much damage. He should be alright, maybe. 
But uh, there you have it. First caution of the night. Already got some big players. We'll take you back to the restart. So getting ready for the green here. So Trey Wright, Josh is silly out of the race, and Michael Collins is actually two laps, uh, one lap down. He has a lap down. Thought he, that caution saved him. I think if the yellow came out before, then yeah. All right, because he had to race back to the line. Still got a chance here. Face card pit row. Luke Sasser in the 37. He lost the most at Indy. A win would, I would safely say that would guarantee him a spot in the playoffs. Mitchell Collins in the 22 behind him. Francis Hollis, another driver who's out. Six Zachary Fitzwater Sr. in the four. So these two have already uh, have two wins, but nowhere near close. Green flags out. So that means. Well, since Trey Wright and Josh Sicily's out, uh, pretty much Pipe Rays, Vito, Blaze, Vitar, Marcus Attachi, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's it for them. So single file into turn three, yeah, uh, yep. Luke Sasser in the wall, 22 gets in the back of him. Francis Hawes nearly gets turned. Not too much damage. He's alright. He's okay. Francis the second. Kyle the third. Noodles the fourth. Fitzwater drops the fifth. And here comes Stepan Oaks in the double zero. Oaks currently sits 25th. 53-22, man, they just keep slapping the wall. Well, more than just slapping. So the sixth car to the front. And trouble, Luke Sasser goes around. Light's still green, light's still green. No caution. No, that's going to bring out the yellow. No, it's not, no, it's not. Now it has to bring out the, no, what are you, okay, there we go. Brad Cheston, Anderson, Blaze Zibertar tumbles down into turn one. Almost goes over Trevor Collins and Michael Collins in the, Two. His car is destroyed. 36 and double zero in the wall. Thought I fixed it. What, what are you doing this? I guess not. And caution is out. Alright, we'll take a look at the replay. Oh man. What a tough. A heartbreak for Luke Sasser in the 37. Pipe Bray's video was behind him. At three wide, he gets into the Derek Edison. Edison gets in the Luke Sasser and he, he locks it up. He's trying really hard to save it. No yellow Mount Haas nearly hits him. Nearly rams into him. Well, you think it's only, it's only a spin. It's all good. No, back there they wrecked and then there's a contact. Please the guitar. And uh, there's Brad Cheston. Run in front of the 20. Look how long it took. In front of the 30 yellow. And then Blazer with a very much like backed up, not actually backed up into reverse, but that car just went back into the 47 and just tipped the car over. Wild ride for the 51 car. Michael Collins to the 2 is destroyed. Luke Sasser's car is destroyed. A lot of heartbreak. I mean, Darlington is probably the worst track to have a cutoff race because how wild it is. Indy would probably have been a lot better. My God. So Anderson in a 20. Well, he's already locked. He's, uh, he's, a, he's already clinched. So it doesn't matter to him. Trevor Collins in the 52. This wreck might hurt him as he sits 11th in points. Alright, so there's a caution. Second yellow. We'll uh, take you back to the restart. So base car heading in. Here we go. 34 cars remain. The one is now a lap down. Here we go. Green flag. Back underway.
We start for the six. Forty-three behind him. Uh, Forty-three is ahead of pretty much anyone. Everyone that he's fighting with: Brad Chess and Joshua Rush. And oh wow, all four, the to entire top four on the wall. But these two got off a quick. Joe Jefferson in the eighteen. He hangs on to thirty. He won a truck race here, and I believe that got him into the playoffs and ended up winning the championship. But he's already got a win. And he's already clinched. Oh, Trouble, the six car has pulled off to the side. Trouble, big time trouble for the six car. He's still going. The 11 also having issues. 22 in the wall, 43 in the wall, 18 to the lead. Big championship uh, playoff implications right here. For the six. The 18 car trying to nab just uh, nab. What was the word again? Nab. And nab a sage win here. Get an extra point into the playoffs. Get another win. Be six right there. Oh, well, here comes Marcus Attachi in the 21. And he isn't been doing so well. And he was there as well. Another driver who was there and then just fell off the map. He's 29th, losing five spots. Oh, trouble, 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 trouble. Who spun out? It's our legacy. Oh, watch out, backing up. Yep, and Aaron John Steele gets turned up into the fence. Brad Cheston, Joshua Rush. More drivers just outside of the play, uh, top 16. My god. Alright, lights are out. As the service are stage yellow, Marcus Tatchi leads. We'll take a look at the replay. So Al Legacy and Alexander Rowe. He's between two contenders here. And Alexander Rowe trying to make it three wide on the inside. And they both spin out, collects the eight with a thirty-eight. Goes fully around and at least it didn't take a million years to drop the yellow. Everything seemed alright, but Aaron John still in the ninety-six was down on the apron, he tried to come back on the racetrack and he gets turned over by the four into the catch fencing. It's been a while since we've seen a huge wreck through one, it's always either three and four or coming to the front straight away, sometimes back straight away. And then Joshua Rush in a 15, oh, he was underneath the 96, just got hit in the roof and that was just enough to pretty much destroy the car. Brad Chesson on a one, well not uh, compete for his fifth championship. Good effort by the one team. Uh, well, good effort by a lot of uh, a lot of teams. Josh Rush looks like he will make it in. Yeah, they're just outside. It's fifth, seventeen, eighteenth, and nineteenth, and they're done for tonight. Maybe. Most likely. All right, so uh, we'll take you. We'll take a look at the save results first. That will take you back to the restart. So uh, we're gonna get the restart. Let's get the stage here: Marcus Attachi, Carter, Joey, Ryan Butcher, Kenny Johnson, Joe Jefferson, Tony Green, Alexander Hyder, Keith Stevens, Noodles, and Dana Martin. Top ten. So not official till they all cross the start finish line, which they're most likely gonna do unless someone, of course, pulls out and whatnot. And I saw the back straight of the 48 having issues. So it looks like he won't be our regular season champ. Maybe. Green flag. First call is a lap down. And those of the other drivers are out of the race. So those, oh, there you go. Official. Top 10. The 21. Trying to get maximum points here. I'm trying to go for his first win. Carter Joey in the 41 came oh so close at Indy. Right now having another good run so far. Can he get that one back? Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. To the inside. Ryan Butcher in the wall. Kenny Johnson goes to second. So it's all or nothing for these two. So they probably don't care if they wreck. Over going for the win here. Tony Green. I wouldn't say he clinched. 
something crazy has to happen, which kind of already has. It's 18 goals on the wall, so does uh, in the 41. So that's 13 to the lead. Gonna be like that all night. Joey losing a lot of spots, holding up a couple drivers. And here comes Green in the 42. That's gonna be a crash, right? Yep, we got a couple cars around. See the 43s involved, the double zero to three. You gotta be kidding me. I think the 43 is still good. Oh, but he's stuck though, he's stuck. He's gonna need to be towed back. Kenny Johnson in the wall. And Green to the race lead. And he'll take the caution flag with Hyder behind him. Alright, we'll take a look at the replay. The 43 just entered the bottom. Enter turn one on the bottom. And of course, that's not good. Trying to slide back up right in front of Stepan Oaks. Collects the 21, the 41, the 11, and the 22, and then the 17. Big impact, and the 3 in the back of the 22 car. Great to see video. Uh, well, he's third, so. But uh, 5 points, man. 5 points, and he hasn't gotten a win, so he needs those points. He only has a 24 point lead over Joe Jefferson and he's way up front. The 17 car is destroyed as well. Double zero Stephen Oaks. Looks like he'll miss the playoffs. Man, Darlington. We, we gotta switch this up if we ever do season 14. I think we should just go back to Richmond. Cause this is just too chaotic. Too chaotic. I mean, there's the impact from the 17 car that took out Stephen Oaks. Now he was 25th. He was trying to do it. He was on 11th at the time. I don't think anyone else was involved. Yeah, they almost. All right, we'll take you back to the restart. All right, here we go. Of course, they're not done wrecking. I suspect another 10 million wrecks before this one is over. Look at all those cars with their entire front just ripped up, the nose, the hood, all torn off. Just trying to limp it to the line, if they can. So Tony Green leading, Alexander Hyder, and Keith Stevens, Noodles, Joe Jefferson, all five cars was already in the top 16. Green flag is out, we're back underway. Eric Edison in 7th. Could he get another win here? Going well for win number 3 here. Tony Green doesn't hit the wall the 9 to the inside, but another driver does. Oh, they got the clean that time. Hyder in a 9. Could he go for 2? Key Steven in a 95. Oh, he hasn't won in a while. But kept uh, pretty consistent. He's currently ninth in points entering this race. Looking for some more. Down to the inside he goes. Oh, the nine getting close. Oh, I was hoping he would miss it. He gets off of it quick, but he loses the lead to the 95. Now Carlson we see is in this mix. See Sammy Zaber Jr. Who looks like he's going to make his first playoffs. Maybe he's 15th. He down lost to two, but with so many of the big contenders out of the race, I think he's good. Not not fully good, but yeah. Oh, 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 oh Carter, Joey, Joey's gonna spin! Oh. And the 21 goes upside down. And more cars destroy Alexander Rowe, Pipe Race Vito, Jake Jefferson. Now ring out the yellow. Wait, wait, what? You're seeing this, right? You, what? What kind of... Okay, this is garbage. This is absolute garbage. Wait a minute. I... Oh, okay, I'm too late on that. Because uh, I didn't need to throw the yellow myself. Well, track's all clear, so... No point, right? 
Oh my god, that did not just happen. Oh, Darlington, Darlington, Darlington. Not the first time. But man, is it just a... Uh, but we had cars everywhere. They were everywhere. Green is drawing a big lead thanks to that. I don't even know what's going on anymore. It's just, just a demolition derby. Actually, we if we if we had a figure eight, probably have le uh, less wrecks than this. Probably less be less chaotic. A second, 1.3 second lead. Tony Green has over Joe Jefferson in the 18 car, who's kept his car pretty clean compared to the others, but he does have the right side all smacked in. Green's on the wall again. They're cutting into his lead. Look how much speed he has. Look at, look at that. Just like that, his lead is gone. Everyone has earned their stripes for, for sure. I think the entire wall would just be full of colors. Oh, contact! Oh, and Joe Jefferson gets put on the wall, and now the yellow comes out. So, Kenny Johnson will lead, but he's in the wall, but he gets off of it quick. No chance for Keith Stevens to take it. And now the caution comes out. Alright, we gotta look at both wrecks, of course. Gotta look at both wrecks, but let's take a look at this one first. Alright, we'll take a look at the replay. Well, what happened here? Like, her took it down the back straight away. Green came down. Mike got a little loose there off of two. He oaks Joe Jefferson into the wall, causing a wreck, causing a yellow. And this, those two just to go for a spin. Well, of course, making contact with each other and whatnot. But alright, let's take a look at the, the big one. The, the, the fifth one. The fifth big one. So Carter Joey, he gets turned by Aaron Carlson. And I don't know if I jinxed it for the 10. I might have. Nowhere to go for him. The 9, the 32. How was this not a yellow look? There's cars everywhere. This is unreal. This is unbelievable. This is the worst. We're the worst call ever. We had really bad calls before, but this has to be the worst. Look at the light! It's still green! What is this? What is this? There's cars stopped in the middle of the racetrack. And that light, perfectly in our camera shot, is still green. I am not believing this. I am not believing this right now. It's like they decided, okay, okay, let's, no, let's not throw the yellow. Let's let let's some wreck for once. We're tired of pushing the, the button. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It just has to piss everyone off. For once, it's not my doing. The game decided, uh, no yellow. No, no yellow. No yellow. Let, let them keep going. Ugh. Well, that wreck I've been on lap 31. Not just a few laps there. About four laps, three laps. And more yellow. Alright, we'll take you back to the restart. Alright, coming to the green here. Jake Jefferson blew a gearbox. Broken a gearbox. So that means Derek Edison, congratulations. You are our regular season championship. 15 bonus points to the 32 team. And Jake Jefferson will get second. For sure, because it's 99 points. He will get 10 points. And Grayson Review, who is third, well not official yet, the 18 car. As of now, he sits in seventh. So if he's seventh, 24 points, three car is 28th. Gonna need to pick up, a, pick it up a bit. I think. All right, two laps to go. When they take the green, can they make it? Maybe. Ah, uh, the points are gonna be so weird, so weird after this. Kenny Johnson. Looking for his first win of the season. He already knows that he isn't going to make it. Or, yeah, green flag. Two laps remaining. Regular restart.
No one making a move yet. Three and four, that's where they're all gonna make all the all the moves. Here we go. Into turn three and four. And they all hit the wall. Keith Stevens in a 95. Nearly turns him. Johnson still leads. White flag is out one more time around. Can he do it? Can he hang on? Stevens and Butcher fighting for second. Green there in third. Carter Joey, Joe Jefferson. And there's, just a, there's a Tim Randolph. We haven't, talked about, we haven't said a word about him till now. Here we go. All into the wall. Kenny Johnson gets off of it quick. Tony Green in the 42. Trying to get there. Not going to happen. Kenny Johnson will win the Southern 500. Huge, huge win for Kenny Johnson. Oh, well, what a mess. Take a look at the full race results. So Kenny Johnson has won it. Tony Green second. Carter Joey third. Joe Jefferson fourth. Tim Randolph fifth. Ryan Butcher sixth. Noodle seventh. Tony Newman eighth. Kenny uh, Keith Stevens uh, ninth. And Aaron Carlson tenth. Eighteen cars finished tonight's uh, demolition derby, and seventeen cars finish on the lead lap. There's the rest of the race results. My God, what a mess. Kind of a joke. Kind of was because. All because that what that big wreck that didn't trigger a yellow for some reason. A lot of big names got taken out, and uh, yeah, a lot of heartbreaks and all that. But we'll calculate the points and see who's in and see who's out. Our first race will be at Richmond. But for now, we'll uh, we'll take you to victory lane. Kenny Johnson, your race winner.